Since its inception in 2010, the Belfast Pride Awards have aimed to celebrate the work led and delivered by the LGBTQ sector. From the essential commercial support that makes Belfast Pride happen, through to innovation in the community delivering better services. We aim to cover every, as much as we celebrate the best of LGBTQ life in Belfast, as well as throwing in a few lighthearted awards too. Our first award of the evening is for political contribution to the LGBT community. This award aims to recognize an individual politician's contribution to Belfast Pride and the LGBTQ sector as a whole. Belfast Pride has invited all of our local politicians, without exception, to come along and help us celebrate Pride. That's all Belfast City Councillors, MLAs and MPs. With this award, we want to mark a politician who has shown particular support or done a significant amount of work for our community. Okay, so to present this award, please welcome from the Rainbow Project, who are sponsoring this award, its director, John O'Doherty. Happy Pride, everybody! Over the last year, particularly, we've heard a lot about the negative impact politicians can have on LGBT people. We've seen with Jim Wells and others the huge harm, hurt, and confusion they can cause to LGBT people. It is therefore really important that we take an opportunity to thank those political representatives who stand strong on LGBT issues all year round. And the nominations for political contribution to the LGBT Community Award, sponsored by the Rainbow Project, are... And the winner is Councillor Mary Ellen Campbell. Big congratulations there, congratulations. Okay, so Belfast Pride has grown so far and so fast that we now need to look at ways to be in, in bringing in more funding to make the festival even bigger and make it the best it can be, because it already is the best. We work very hard on building commercial partnerships to help us fund the festival and work with a range of businesses in Belfast, large and small, right across the city. To present the award for Commercial Supporter of the Year, Please give a warm welcome to McLernan Moyna Solicitors in Hollywood and the sponsor of this award, Kieran Moyna. Happy Pride, happy 2015 Pride. Um, it is so important that we have commercial supporters for our community. Um, these provide vital funds, a vital opportunity to access these people and get crowds and get people behind 
it is so important that the law backs the funds and also the activities that we are taking as a community. Um, so I am proud to announce the, no the nominations for Commercial Supporter of the Year, sponsored by McLaren and Moynihan Solicitors, are. Commercial Supporter of the Year, the Kremlin. Come through, Trudy! No mic required. <laughs> okay, folks, so Belfast Pride gets a lot of attention and coverage, and we aim to use this as a platform for the community. We want to help explain, inform, and encourage. The awards tonight are a way of highlighting the work done by the LGBT community and those who support us. We asked you to give us your nominations and a really broad range of people were represented in the final list. There's a lot more to this than just the chance to get one of our much coveted rainbow bears. Tonight we have asked a number of groups from the LGBT support sector to come and tell us what they have been working on for the past year. First up, it's Cara Friend Youth. Please welcome Lee Cullen and Keith Sang. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Keith. How have you been marking Pride over the past year? Uh, what we've been doing for Pride this year is really we've been emphasizing about what we do, what the group does, that it's a safe space for anyone who is questioning their sexual orientation or who doesn't identify as heterosexual, really. So I just don't think a lot of people are aware what we do. And what has the reaction been like? Uh, we've got a lot of new members coming to the group and surprisingly you'd think that this day and age that everyone's out but they're not and it's good that we have that safe space for them to socialize and make a social group. And it is a lot of hard work, Lee. What kind of work goes on behind the scenes? Well, we mostly support youth work inside Glenny and Carfriend LGBT Youth and yeah, I suppose that's it. It's tough. How rewarding, though, is it? It is very rewarding, especially for people who are volunteers who do want to go into youth work. And looking ahead to the next year coming up, have you got any major plans? Uh, major plans, we don't have any yet, but we'll wait and see what we can do. And maybe, you know, you'll hear the voice of Cara Friend LGBT Youth uh, stronger next year. Okay, brilliant. Ladies and gentlemen, Cara Friend Youth, please give it a round of applause to Lee Cullen and Keith Sang. Okay, so our next award is to celebrate the growing number of LGBT businesses and LGBT friendly businesses in Belfast, a key way of making Belfast the open, relaxed, confident and progressive city that we know it to be. To present this award, please welcome from here and I, the organization for lesbian and bisexual women, Cara McCann. The nomination for the Business Contribution Award, sponsored by Here and I, are.
Fabulous, darling. Fabulous. What? Take a wee picture, Cara. Cara? She'd like a picture. Your dress is nicer. Okay, our next award is for innovation for the LGBT community. This award aims to recognize the efforts of LGBT groups to improve and design services to best, need the meet the, best meet the needs of our community. Belfast Pride supports community-led services and welcomes the open, inclusive, and democratic nature of the LGBT sector. To present the award, please welcome, from the Equality Commission, the sponsors of this award, Heather Wilson. Happy Pride! Before I announce the nominations, I just want to say the Commission is really delighted to be here and to be sponsoring two awards tonight. Um, we've had quite a busy year. Uh, and amongst other things, one of the things I'm here with tonight is just to give a quick plug to the So Me LGB Outreach Initiative. I haven't got my teddy with me now, but he'll make an appearance later if anybody wants a photograph that hasn't had one already, he is available. So I just want to raise awareness of rights and the Equality Commission and just to say we know there's still a lot of discrimination out there and people need to know where to go for help and advice and information and the Equality Commission is the organisation that you can come to to get advice and we're working with the LGBT community to try and spread the word. So help us spread the message on social media, on Twitter and Facebook. So I'll <laughs> plug over and I'll now do my job, which is to announce the nominations in the category of innovation in the LGBTQ community, sponsored by the Equality Commission, and they are... Big congratulations there to the Rainbow Project. Well done, guys. Well done. Okay, so next up, it's time to recognize those within the LGBT community whose work can easily go without recognition but keep us entertained, informed, or moved. The Art Artist of the Year category, which is new for this year, was one of the most nominated awards of the entire event and definitely one of the closest when it came to verifying votes with only a handful, like literally a handful, between first, second, and third. The presenter of this award has been a Belfast leg leg and legend sorry, from the opening night of Kremlin when she straddled a police land rover long before Jerry Kelly thought of it. Right the way through a busy career, taking in Maverick, Forbidden Fruit, who are hosting this year's official Belfast Pride after party at Society, shameless plug, to the weakest link with Anne Robinson, right through to her latest, her own unique version of count, count down. <laughs> she has scared many a granny watching Belfast Pride, having walked the parade route. 
in her towering high heels every year. Can you please all welcome the one and only Contessa Maximilian von Trump. Nice kick. Right, to make it short and sweet, after here we're all going to the Vogue Ball in Maverick, just so you know. That's a pub that's seen it done now, okay. Nominations in the category of Artist of the Year are... Ta-da! Okay. Community development is action that helps people to recognize and develop their ability and potential and organize themselves to respond to problems and needs which they share. Lesbian and bisexual women often face multiple issues and have a long history of working together to tackle these issues and stand up for greater visibility. Here and I describes itself as the place for lesbian and bisexual women. To talk about their work over the last year, please welcome yet again the divine Cara McCann. Congratulations. Congratulations, Evan. Okay, so Cara, we just want to know a little bit about what's been going on with you and here and I. Oh, yes, take the podium, darling. Take the podium. i a wee bit prepared here. Folks, as I was introduced, my name is Cara McCann and I'm the coordinator of here and I. Um, we are the only organisation in the north of Ireland who work exclusively with lesbian and bisexual women and their families. Our ethos is to build capacity of women so that they can become confident, visible citizens within their own communities. Much of our work is around peer support and also providing one-to-one -one support on a range of issues, ranging from family issues to confidence building to support to coming out. The past year has been a very challenging year for here and I. Our core funding ended in November 2014, which brought a reduction in our work and our already small staff team. However, this year has proved something really important to us. We would not have been able to keep our doors open if it wasn't for the support of all you lovely people in the room. <laughs> Individuals have supported us financially through our local giving page and the moral support from our sector partners 
and individuals has been absolutely amazing. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Here and I, in partnership with the Rainbow Project, have just been awarded nearly £700,000 from the big lottery to work with same-sex families. Our doors are now indeed open and we look forward to meeting your needs and growing into a bigger and better organisation. Thank you. Thank you very much. And seeing as it's uh, Cara's birthday, she gets the first piece of cake. Couldn't help but sorry. <laughs> well, over the year, there are many club nights held across the week and across the city. From weekly nights to monthly residencies, the LGBTQ scene in Belfast benefits from variety, offering something for everyone. This award aims to recognize the nights which people remember the most. So to present the award for best night out, please welcome Stephen Magorian of Belfast Pride's single biggest commercial supporter, the Horatio Group, which pr brings pride to all their venues, the Wig, Madison's, the Bot, the King's Head, Molly Brown's, and Denver. And you guys have um, got a lot planned, don't you, for Pride this year? Yeah, we've got quite a few things going on this year. But first of all, um, we've been with Pride for a number of years now. Um, we employ over 300 people in the city, and uh, many of them are part of the LGBTQ com community. And you know, we need to support them, but also we like the fact that, that we want it to be one community, and, and so we're, we're delighted to be involved and have been for a number of years. This year, we're doing quite a number of things. Um, hopefully, uh, w which will be fun and raise, ra raise a few money for, a few bits of money for Pride. Probably most of all is Priscilla, uh, which we're doing in the cinema next week, and all the funds from that is going to Pride. So I thought that was a great idea, and hopefully people will enjoy it, so. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're here to announce um, the nominations for the best night out. Sponsored by the Eraser Group, and these are. As you can tell, I'm not a young man, and uh, reading this winner would probably suit me, but I'm sure it wouldn't. Uh, the winner is the Sunday Bingo Show. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Well done. Okay, folks. So the LGBTQ sector in Belfast consists of many dedicated organizations that often specialize in different areas, but all work for the common good, often collaborating and working together on projects which benefit the community as a whole. To hand over the award for community partnership in the LGBT sector, 
Please welcome on stage one of Belfast Pride's biggest single fundraisers, Miss Tina Legs Tantrum. <laughs> AKA Trudy Scrumptious. She's so diverse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a good conversation. <laughs> yes. Bring in RuPaul. I feel really short right now. <laughs> no comment. Now, um, so obviously Tina can't be with us tonight. She's busy. But um, obviously you have enjoyed many of rocks yourself. Yes. <laughs> okay. Can you just tell us a little bit about what Up Rocks is about and how it helps Belfast Pride? in no less than a hundred words. Chapter one, uh, no. <laughs> Hello, so obviously Tina couldn't be here tonight, but she got, bitch got upgraded. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, listen, up, I know you're all looking at me going, what's she gonna say? Up Frocks is a great opportunity for raising money throughout the whole community for uh, Belfast Pride. It's a great event. Also, other than that, it's a fun event. And I, no matter what, I always think drag queens in, historically have been the forerunners for the gay community. And, you know, we're noticeable. We're out there. We take no apologies. And we just run it, they run the race, and everybody's there. I love that about drag queens. I'm just saying that. And I think Opportunity Frocks does that year in, year out. All the girls, they're all competing and enjoying the competition and learning lots more through the community and raising money for it. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so the lovely Trudy is going to do the nominations for us then. The nominations for the category of Community Partnership Award. Oh. for Community Partnership Award is The Rainbow Project and PSNI. much guys well done well done okay so Belfast Pride works with a range of commercial organizations to ensure the successful running of the festival the size of Belfast Pride now one of the biggest in Belfast but Belfast Pride also needs the partnership and support of the LGBTQ community every individual voice and every group matters and so our next award is for community supporter of the year this year, we're delighted to have teamed up with the Barclays Bank LGBT staff group, who have recently got involved with support to support Belfast Pride, and last year decorated their Belfast City Centre branch with rainbow flags and Belfast Pride flags, and are helping to fundraise for the festival. So to present the new award for Community Supporter of the Year, please welcome from Barclays, Instant. The nominations for award of Community Supporter of the Year, sponsored by Barclays, are...
Equality Commission. So congratulations once again to the Equality Commission. Okay, successful community action usually has a set of core values that include human rights, social inclusion, equality, and respect for diversity. Different types of groups can thrive in shared spaces like the Belfast LGBT Centre that respect these values. Queer Space is an open, volunteer-led collective that is about to host the Big Queer Holdy Hands Walking Tour during Pride, which aims to promote same-sex couples holding hands and showing affection in public without fear. To explain what else they've been working on over the past year, please welcome on stage Colin Flynn. Thanks very good to see you again, Colin. Um, so have you had much interest in this one so far? Yes, it's been very good so far. It's been a great, uh, great year altogether, with a lot more going on. Um, as Sean was saying earlier on, we grow organically. The sector grows organically. We have done that since 1998. Um, we are very, still very active. We have drop-ins twice, twice a month, on the first and third. Saturday in the month. We also have a forum meeting, which means that everybody has a voice. We all have equal voices as best we can, because we are a collective. Uh, and of course, not only not, not only do we not only do we um, uh, discuss the matters, the relevant matters of the day, but we also uh, will be planning events during that particular during that particular period. Then we and, have, then and we have a drop in as well immediately after that. So we make it what we want to make it, what the volunteers want to make it, what the people attending want. So it's very much led, as Sean was saying about the sector itself, it's very much led from the ground upwards. And speaking specifically about some projects you have coming up in the next year, what can people look forward to? Well, we, we've started during LGBT Awareness Week, we started a thing called Community as Artist, where we're working with PS2, uh, in developing an art project. Uh, that has the support of the Art Council, and that will be an ongoing project probably for the, first, for the, for the next part of the year. Uh, of course, we have the Holy Hands thing, which is on Thursday night, plug for you all, uh, six o'clock at the LGBT Centre. Then we have the usual things like films and parties and all of those things. Uh, and of course, we went down to Dublin Pride for the second year running. There were 16 of us, 16 of us all together, went down and stayed overnight, and uh, it was, we had a great time all together. So there are, we call that out of space, you queer space, we have in space, which is our coffee lounge, starting at half past three in the afternoon after the forum meeting. Then we have out of space, which might mean going to the cinema, or something else like 10 pin bowling, or it might indeed mean going away for the weekend to Pride or wherever else. So literally something for everyone. Thanks very much for coming up and sharing what you have on offer. Ladies much. and gentlemen, Colin Flynn. Okay, our next award is for People's Choice Award and we're delighted to announce our partners Unison are backing this. The award means what it says, the People's Choice. To present the award for the People's Choice, please welcome on stage from one of Belfast Pride's biggest and most generous sponsors and supporters, Phone a Cab, and sponsors of this award, Simon Kitchen. The People's Choice Award, the nominations for the award for the People's Choice sponsored by Phone a Cab are...
competition for this one. And the winner for the People's Choice Award is Megan Fearon MLA. Unfortunately, Megan, Megan can't be here this evening and collect an award on her behalf as Colette McAllister. Okay, congratulations once again. Belfast Pride's Pride Village event brings a community marketplace to Pride Day, connecting people with services, encouraging people to access their rights often for the first time, and introducing groups who want to work with the LGBT people. 2014 saw over 45 stalls in the rather wet Pride Village, and this award is designed to recognize the efforts by a range of statutory, voluntary, and other groups to make those connections. To present the award, please welcome Daniel Allen from the Kremlin. I've promised Trudy Scrumptious I won't curse. So. <laughs> so, the nominations for the category of the contribution to the Belfast Pride Village 2014 are. Well deserved. Now, the LGBT community has had a long history of organizing together to tackle issues that we face, from health issues to speaking up for a proper share of resources. Improving the physical and mental health of LGBT people is a challenge that groups like the Rainbow Project have taken up. To tell us a bit about what the Rainbow Project has been working on on the last year, please welcome the housewife's choice, Malachi O'Hara. Oh, I'm so sorry, he appears to have a PowerPoint presentation with him. <laughs> what do you sell him? Um, <laughs> Hello, Malachi. Uh, Fishwives rather than housewives. Fishwives rather than housewives, I'm down with that, that's fine. Okay, so Malachi, you have had an extremely busy year. Tell us a little bit about what's going on. Yeah, um, I think this year, in terms of the Rainbow Project, we've done a lot of work. Um, um, we've been asked to talk about one of the things that we're proud of. Why don't you use the podium? Yeah! Like Give president. me a podium, thanks very much. Um, my name's Mal. <laughs> um, I'm delighted to be here. I manage health and wellbeing services at the Rainbow Project. Um, it's such a grand occasion. This is the 25th anniversary of Belfast Pride, and I really want to give a big kudos to Belfast Pride for putting on the biggest festival ever, over 100 events. 
a huge diversity in what they're doing, and I want to particularly pay, att pay attention to what they've done in honouring the pioneers who 24 years ago took to the streets under the risk of assault, threat, harassment, um, and all sorts of violence, those brave pioneers who marched in 1991. They reflected another set of brave pioneers, pioneers who in 1967 at the Stonewall Inn in New York State, they kicked off the birth of the LGB and T equality movement and give birth to that. Those brave pioneers, we carry on their journey. I'm delighted to talk about Rainbow and the work that we do. We're Ireland's largest LGBT organisation. We promote the health and well-being of LGB and T people and their families. We have two bases. We call it FOIL, but I think there's been a bit of a mess after the vote today about what we're going to call it from now on. So we're deliberately calling it FOIL to avoid the whole London Derry, Derry shenanigans and Belfast. We do a range of services, testing, safer sex packs, befriending, one-to-one -one counselling. We provide advocacy, so if you're a victim of hate crime or you're homeless because of your sexual orientation or gender identity, we can help you. We research, we lobby, we advocate on behalf of our community, and we campaign for equality. And that's what I'm going to talk about. In December 14, MLA Paul Gervin launched a, cons given, launched a consultation on a private member's bill. This was attended by the usual Peel, Meal, Steel Conservatives. Right? They were professing to be supporting religious freedom. The same people that can't support religious freedom for faith groups who want to conduct same-sex marriages. They don't care about religious freedom. They care about prejudice and discrimination. So this lineup of pale, male and steel people included our first minister. And he has responsibility for equality. Fix that. This bill was meant to be about those of faith being able to refuse goods, facilities and services for LGB people. Only LGB people. Nobody else. This meant that they could refuse us a house. They could refuse us a mortgage. They could refuse us to book a venue. They could refuse us a taxi, refuse us a restaurant, put us out of shops, make us scour around trying to find out who will and who won't serve us? We said no. We wrote to Paul Given the moment the consultation was launched. We've written four times. We still even haven't had an acknowledgement, never mind a response. So we launched a campaign. We engaged with our allies across the LGBT sector. We worked with trade unions. We worked with faith groups. We worked with political parties. And we held, at that time, what was the biggest rally ever in terms of LGBT politics outside of Pride festivals. And we killed the freedom of conscious bill that Paul Gavin wanted to bring forward. Why did we kill it? Because we got the petition of concern from our allies in Sinn Féin, the Greens and NI21. We got assurances from Alliance and the SDLP that they too would join defeating this bill we got a majority. That was momentous. For the first time, we blocked and stopped retrograde um, anti-LGB legislation from reaching the floor of the Assembly. And why am I proud of that? We're not funded to do that work. The work that we're funded to do is work that promotes the health and well-being of people, whether it's giving tests to people so that they can be reassured of their status in terms of sexually transmitted infections, whether it's the befriending support that we provide that gives solace to those who are disconnected and isolated, whether it's advocacy that gives hope to people who feel that they're trapped in hopelessness, whether it's the youth support that we provide that builds the generation that will carry on the battle after us. So we need your help. Belfast Pride have called this 25th anniversary, it's time. My challenge to you is it's time. Love each other more and give more in the battle for liberation. I'm going to finish. You'll be glad to hear. And I'm going to finish on a quote that I, some people have heard me speak before and hear me say this quite regularly. It's a great quote by Gandhi. At first, 
they ignore us. Then they laugh at us. Then they fight us. And then we win. Thank you. Maliki for president. Ah, MLA. I see an agenda. Just a short time ago, we took a look back at the Belfast Pride Parade in 2014. Last year saw some of our biggest number of floats and entrants, and despite the weather, the turnout was bigger than ever. It just keeps growing. Our next award is to recognize the hard work and effort that goes into making a memorable parade entry. To present the award, I'd like to call up from another of Belfast Pride's community partners and sponsor of this award, Fidelma Carolan from Unison. from Vicky Beeching, who's a religious commentator and theologian, who sent out a tweet the other day which said, while we wait for change, many are quietly working behind the scenes to change hearts and minds. And I see many people in this room who have been working quietly and not so quietly over many years and some more recently. And change has come and change is, there's more change to come. So well done to everybody. The nominations for the award of Best Parade Entry in 2014, sponsored by Unison, are... Start selling them bears, I'm telling you. Okay, folks, well done. Now, our penultimate award is our Community Action Award. This award aims to recognize community based efforts that support, develop, and promote the LGBT community in Belfast. Belfast Pride is grounded in the community and staying that way. And there are many LGBT community groups under the Pride Rainbow. It's not easy balancing the needs of a diverse community, but we're all on the same side, and our community just makes us stronger. So to present our Community Action Award, please welcome back from the Equality Commission, Bruna Gemfrey. honour to be here on behalf of the Equality Commission to present this award. This award shows that when the going gets tough, the tough gets going, but these people don't and they won't. So the nominations for the Community Action Award sponsored by the Equality Commission are...
Rainbow Project. Big congratulations there. Okay, that brings us to our final award of the night. And this year's final award pays tribute to a community leader and one of the original founders of Belfast Pride, P.A. McLaughlin, who, as we know, sadly passed away last year. He was one of the original founders and sadly can't be with us to celebrate this momentous occasion. In honor of P.A., we created an annual award named the P.A. McLaughlin Award. It's an award which will be given each year to an individual or group whose work in society strives for a better way of life for LGBTQ people. To present the award, please welcome back on stage the chair of Belfast Pride, Sean O'Neill, and the recipient of last year's award, Colin Finn. Thank you. Um, P.A. McLaughlin was one of the, as has been said, one of the original founders of Pride and one of the leading lights of the LGBT community in Belfast. His approach was to persuade, to knock doors and to not turn away when doors were slammed in his face. And it's that kind of example, along with all the other people who put effort into organizing Pride, organizing the community, that's the kind of effort that we want to mark and that we want to um, maintain the memory of so that we can continue to learn from it and not get um, distracted or sidelined and we keep focused on what really should motivate our community and the type of action that we need to take to get towards the point where we have our rights and we have um, our acceptance in society. Colin won the award last year for his... <laughs> for his long-term contribution to the community. And I'm going to ask Colin just to say a few words about PA um, to help put this award in context. Thanks, everyone. Uh, PA was a close friend of mine. Uh, he was one I learned a great deal from. He was steady. You could be sure that he would always turn up at meetings. Maybe a bit late. <clears throat> Maybe with newspapers in bags rustling along the corridor as he went along. Maybe he would go drop off sleep to sleep occasionally. But you could be sure that he was hearing actually what you were saying, so you dare not <laughs> say something which was, uh, you know, inappropriate or something like that, because he would tell you what he, what you'd said. Uh, I think he was just maybe concentrating. But he was a wonderful man. Um, he had very broad vision about society generally. He could see where we fitted into the bigger picture. And my plea is that as a community, we not only concentrate on the, the rights that we have to still acquire, we not only concentrate on building the confidence within our own selves and within our own people, but we also share our lives with, with the community in general, and that we bring the community with us, that we look to the new people coming in here, asylum seekers, refugees, other established people coming to work here from various places like India, the Philippines and beyond, and African countries, uh, that actually that is work which we will be doing in the future uh, to develop our community still further. 
So in a sense, it's a little section 75.1 piece of work that we need to do uh, as a policy uh, for the entire sector. And do it we will, I hope. Uh, so vision is important. Steady as she goes is very important when you're doing this work, that you don't give up when things get very difficult. And believe you me, they have been extremely difficult during the last year, extremely challenging. Um, and I think for next year, with funding being cut again, it's going to be increasing. You're going to have to be very innovative as well. Pride is a source of great joy to us all. Uh, PA was always there, and I come back to PA now. PA was always there on, laterally on a scooter supplied by Shop Mobility Belfast. And as you know, two years ago we had a tribute with a number of PA lookalikes on scooters dressed up in the clothes he was wearing. So he was a person of great humour, um, great fun, also very serious, a very great intellectual and somebody who could see the way forward. So I'm delighted that, uh, that we are presenting this award again to someone. I'm not sure who it is. Mm -hmm. Is this Thank you? you? Are you going to open? Yep. OK, so Sean will open. <clears throat> OK. Um, the winner of the PA McLaughlin Award this year goes to an organization um, an organization whose spirit, we feel, matches the spirit of PA. They seem to be um, constantly, constantly vibrant, um, able to overcome challenges, able to organize, and able to, to do new things, um, despite having very limited to no resources. It's an organization that, as I said, inspires us. They continue to do work that, that surprises. They continue to do work that makes a point. Um, that organization is Queer Space. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause well for the winners, Queer Space. But there is one more thing that I would like to do, and that's on behalf of Belfast Pride and you guys as well. So we really struggle for funding every year, and literally this year has been no exception. We have had to fight for every single piece, and it has been extremely stressful, but obviously worthwhile. Um, and it's not just about what the few people that we have in the Pride Committee do, it is about when the community go, okay, we need to help here because it's our community, okay? And there's one person this year that just really sort of sidestepped me a bit because I went onto Facebook, as I do on my weekly rant, and said, guys, it's our community, it's all of our responsibility to make sure it's as big as possible, step up. And this person did. And this person is somebody that everybody knows and loves and is not tied to any particular venue or organization, just an indep independent person who it just really is just a pleasure to talk to as well. And um, I have a little special bear here, Sarah, the little goblin from behind the hello, little goblin. We have a fabulous special bear for this person. So I would like to ask, on your backs to come up on stage, please. Anya has tirelessly bucket shaked this year. She has been our only main fundraiser this year that's been out bucket shaking. So this is something that is just specifically for our um, fundraising volunteers that we're gonna try and roll out every year. So this is for you to say thank you and Pride appreciates everything that you've helped do as well in our community. Anyway, listen, well done, okay? Thank you so much, Anya. Everybody appreciates it.
And that Portland. about uh, wraps up the evening. I would personally like to thank Belfast Pride for once again asking me to take part. It's been great, great working with Gemma again. Thank you all tonight uh, for coming along as well. Okay, darlings, let's get some Prosecco and strike a pose. Good night.